Hey there, how's it going today? Hey, it's been a long weekend and I want to show you my last project that I did. Uh, this is a grid tie with battery backup system. Uh, I used the Outback 8048A radiant inverter, um, uh, three strings of their energy cell, uh, 200REs, and uh, we've got a great little project here. This is on a, a project down in the Bay Area that I did. Uh, we've been working on it for a few months now. It's a new construction. Uh, that made it really easy to put all the integration circuits in, put critical load panels, and really be able to make it so that they could kind of tailor what circuits they wanted to put into this. Um, everything is placed in the garage. And as you can see, this radian system fits right at home with the mechanics of their, their heating, their hot water, and their backup power system. Um, we got the Radian 8048A. It's an 8,000 watt inverter. Um, it's got the in-phase microinverters attached to it with RC, REC panels. Um, this is AC coupled, so it's super efficient on the grid tie portion. And then when it goes to the battery backup, it utilizes the microinverters to charge the batteries as well. You can see that we have, again, we have the Mate 3 controller. This is kind of what the, uh, the grid tie settings look like. You can see the cell feature up in the upper left hand corner. Our batteries are sitting at 50.8. We did a little test running today. Uh, we got to still wait to get our interconnect, but we had to test everything out while I'm here. Uh, zooming down, we can see we have our, our in phase. We can get a zoom in here. We have our in phase envoy uh, that shows the production of the solar. We got our Radian 8048A inverter, our GSLC load controller inside of it. You can see that we've got everything labeled, all of our system sizing for our grid tie, all of our system sizing for our, our backup portion. We have all of our breakers uh, for safety for the AC coupled portion for the Envoy. Utility coming in, the bypass assembly if there's any issues, and then the inverter disconnects as well. I always like to put all the system information on as close as possible and emergency procedures to do with the system. Right here, this is Outback's energy cell battery bank and their new enclosure. Uh, I really liked it. Uh, it's got it all set up so that each string of batteries has its own breaker. So you can see that we have three rows here all together. And this thing's got about 500 amp hours of total storage. So it was a really clean install. This is the first time I've used it. Uh, I gotta say I liked it quite a bit. It made it uh, very simple to put the batteries in and hook it all up. Uh, I like the way that the pre-wiring was done on it. And I like that it matches. I'm a big fan of that too. So, so hope you like this one. I'll get up on the roof tomorrow and show you a little bit more about the solar that we got. So, till next time. Thank you.